Subscribe to HeritageHipHop.com. What's up, everybody out there, Heritage Hip Hop? Now listen, you see this face right here, right? This is a face from one of the most prolific crews in Jersey. You dig? When I say, when I say people that we support, and let it be known that we only represent the real and heritage hip hop. So introduce yourself once again to the people. Man, it's Young Apollo, man. Ali Rocket from the motherfucking TGS The Movement, RV The Fucking Gang, man. You already know what's going on. Rap Villain. Rap Villain Records, all that, you know what I'm saying? It's humble to be here once again. It's my second time, I think. I'm fucking official. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most importantly, it's a pleasure to always talk to you and your crew. Thank How, you. How's everything going with y'all? Um, We blessed, man. We humble. Um, Shout out to you. Like, we just bought the brand, so you know what I'm saying? Don't. Use RV too lightly around this bitch. Um, yeah. We just, um, we working, man. We staying humble. We just doing whatever we can to uh, stay on the scene and just trying to figure out what's next for us, you know? I know what's next for you already. That's why we're having this conversation because no more. Tell me. it's not even about you as an artist. You are an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. businessman, artist, and a leader of the new generation of hip hop. And sex symbol. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. You can have that. Good. <laughs> Good. But I ask you this. Since being on Heritage Hip Hop yes, sir. and making Rap Villain not only a name, you made it a force with your team. God bless you, thank you. How have you been received since being on Heritage Hip Hop? Um, it's just been a big incline, to be honest. Um, I felt like a lot of people loved the uh, interview. They thought we were like hilarious and they loved your questions and it really seemed like, well, you are in tune with us, you know what I'm saying? So from that, I really take interviews, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Personal, yes, thank you. I take the interviews really personal, and I feel like you gave me the best interview that I've had hands down, so from that day, I just kind of um, hold it, everybody else to a higher, you know what I'm saying, accountability. Thank you, and I appreciate that. No problem, no problem. But see, the thing about you that's different is that if people don't really pay attention to the artist, they miss the journey and they miss the struggle, which makes the artist great. For sure. How has it been going from a rapper to a CEO rapper. What's the difference? My ego, probably, to be honest. Um, not for real. Um, in my mindset, nothing really, because I, I feel like there's so much more that I have to do. But it also feels like, as a black man, it feels like incredible that I own my own business and I can say that. You know, I can walk around and tell people like I'm a CEO for real, not just rapping about it. It's on paper, you know. So that's how I feel about it. The the funny thing is, you've always been that. But now you have the paperwork to make it more official. Yes, sir. What kind of responsibility is that now? Um, yeah. Responsibility. I feel it's like it's a ton of responsibility. It's a tremendous amount of responsibility uh, to me. I feel like there are other businesses that I know like have started from nothing. It started from the same place that I started from. So for me to want to be like a, a Rockefeller or a Def Jam or Atlantic Records or just any place, I feel like I gotta put in a lot of work or like target, whatever, any brand, any business, you know what I mean? So it's pressure. It's a lot of pressure, but I'm ready for it. I think I was made for it. So Oh yeah, and you already and you're already um excel excelling in it. For the sure. thing about the thing about winning though is that whenever you win, the race doesn't end. All you did was go to the next level. Mm -hmm. And level everybody says they level up. Everybody says they're this, they're that, right? Nas had one of the best hip hop quotables last year on Jada Kiss's album, Kiss of Death. No, top five. Where he said, Everybody's a Don until a, a Don walks in the room. So now when you walk in the room and everybody calls themselves a boss, yeah. now when you come in, they can't talk, they can't touch you because you really are the rapper and a boss as well. And I'm talking it. And I'm talking it and walking it at the same time. I agree. So now that you got a double holster where you can hit people any type of way. How do you check people now when they talk about what it is that you do and don't come correct with what it is that you do? Um, I'm way more confident behind um, what I'm saying. I know a lot about the taxes. I know about the being the CEO, the LL LLC, you know what I'm saying? The, um, partnerships that I could gain, all that stuff. So to me, it's just like confidence. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? This is Rap Villain Records. It's on table. Stop playing with me. You know what's going on. So that's how I feel about it. More importantly though, Rap Villain is not only just a label though. It's not only a way to get young men to show their talent and bring money to the hood or to the family. Definitely. Rap Villain has a name that goes across the country, goes across the water. Like I said, my, my friend Natasha in Germany, love y'all. You know Shout what I'm saying? Natasha again. And then also, I have a college student that I'm in tune with who listens to you 
at uh, Rutgers, New Brunswick. Where? I have a young lady who's going to high school right now who listens to your music. She's shooting her own web series and she listens to you. Oh, tell her to holler at me. So, you're inspiring the next generation of creators and the new insp inspirations of next generations. What does that mean to you? That sounds crazy to me. Um, it sounds like a lot of responsibility, to be honest, but it sounds like to me, it sounds like something I never really thought that I, I would do, if I'm being quite honest with you. I just write songs like that I feel like relate to me, and it's crazy that other people can relate to them and it could be, like affect other people. So, to me, that's just like a blessing. You know what's dope? This, this is something I want you to think about. In the history of America, colonial America at that, yeah. people of our complexion who was already here were grouped in and lumped into slavery, but we made the country great. And everything America tries to put a, put like stake its flag in and say, this is American, it really is us. So when it comes down to doing business, no matter how evil the business is, other people may do. When we do business, the Bible says we are the salt of the earth. And as you know, salt preserves, it gives it flavor. So not only are you making the world better, you're enriching the world by keeping it flavorful. How do you take that as being, I'm Ali Rocket the CEO, Ali Rocket the, the rapper, but not only that, you're Ali Rocket the leader, you're Ali Rocket the, the movement, you're Ali Rocket <clears throat> calls for the next. Everybody always asks why, but now you need to answer the why, you need to have the cost, and that's you. What does that mean? Um, to me, I think I, I gotta take everything with a, uh, uh, a grain of salt. I feel like I gotta take everything one step at a time and not let my head get too uh, big of me because I'm around a whole bunch of like motherfucking fools and, and jokers and shit. Like, so yeah. they make sure that I, I don't think too much of myself, but they know like I'm doing what I gotta do for us and I'm trying to make as much noise as possible. Mm -hmm. But um, for me, it really just means staying myself. Like, that's all I can really see. I, I, I hear the CEO, you know what I'm saying? I hear the rapper, um, I hear that nigga, you know what I mean? But at yeah. the end of the day, I just want to just remain myself. It was written a four time, which means in the past that a man's, whoever a man keeps a company with is going to be the definition of that man in his life. Yeah. So it's written, if your circle of friends doesn't inspire you, yeah. then your friends are your cage and they hold you down. Oh yeah, they're definitely a cage. I don't fuck with them at all. So then you pick a unique group of people as your team, or y'all came together as a team. For sure. How do you how do you build them as the person who's dropping the most? I don't know, I don't really like them like that. No, I'm joking. Um to be honest, I just make sure that everybody's working. Um, whether you're dropping or not, like they're always working, they're always gonna make music, they're always gonna perfect their craft. And I feel as though as a team, we drop what we feel like is the best song for everybody at that moment. Um, so we go through songs, we go through trial and error, we go through, all right, let's listen to this, let's listen to that, and nah, I don't fuck with that, all right, that's a hit, I don't fuck with that, or you drop something like that before, let's try to go in a different direction, see where it takes us. So it's really just about strategy and us staying at a team, but for me, um, they encourage me to drop, they encourage me to um, continue like trying to stay on niggas next. Um, and my idea is always like, what can I do for my team? But my team is always like, what can they do for me? So I feel like that's why it figures out so well. That's called reciprocation. For sure. Now see, let's go into some let's go into some geography now. I'm a well-learned man. I'm a teacher for God's sake. So oh, yeah. I always bring stuff out of left field, right? And one thing I'm gonna tell you about is like I said, rap villain isn't a label. Rap villain is a movement. It's a, a lifestyle, a movement, everything you need in your life. So you know how tsunami form? Um, a tsunami forms in the middle of the ocean, right? How? With the tides and the winds, and how? going up. one, right? One's going one direction, and I don't know. How like no. a tsunami? No, I'm waiting for him to break it down. It's earthquake. A tsunami is an earthquake. It's an earthquake, and what it does, it pulls the water back. And if you're in tune with nature, all the animals disappear. All the ones out the deep come up because they're about to explore new land. So then. What we know about the tsunami is the tsunami causes chaos. Bam! You lost your house. Yeah. You lost your shore. You lost your car. Everything. But to the things that are in tune, it's the beginning of something new because now it's undiscovered land to explore because now the water gets higher. 
That's a crazy way to So think check about this it. out. Rap villain is like a tsunami because nobody knew you were there, but then you made noise. And now that the noise was made, you changed the landscape of how people listen to music. I'm trying to, for sure. All I'm saying is. That's a beautiful way to look at it. Well, all I'm saying is. To be successful, not only do you have to know your power, you yep. have to know what your power can influence. For sure. 